couple minutes here and we'll get to opening the box and see what's inside. Okay, so we'll get rid of the big box here. This is the box that came inside. Same sticker here. This is the pro version or promotional version with the metal tracks and metal drive wheels. <clears throat> I like this tank a lot. Um, it's a shame they don't have an M60 patent or an M48 patent, but this was the closest I could get to it. And I'm not a big fan of the Pershing, but you know, Walker Bulldog man. She was in Vietnam, so why not? All right, I'm gonna pop this open here. It's got some Velcro on the flap there. And there it is. US M483. There's a lot of text there. Um, it's an airsoft version, so it shoots airsoft BBs. Full directions, 2.4 gigahertz radio. Looks like there's some packing in there with it. All right, we'll get to opening it up and pulling the tank out in a second. I just wanted to flip the box around so you guys could see. This actually says it. 27 megahertz radio system, but I actually know it's a 2.4 gig. Um, this is the back of the packaging. We've got the top, same thing. It's got a small carry handle, which comes in handy. This is a big box. Side panel, more imagery. Same thing on the other side. I wish they came with different commanders, or you could choose different commanders. There's a World War II looking uh, tank commander there, but I would love it if they had like a Vietnam tank commander. Um, seeing as how this one was in Korea and Vietnam, mainly, not really World War II. All right, this is the bottom of the box. And here we have a bunch of different hanglongs available. Don't know if I'm gonna get another one. I might. I might. They have an Abrams now, so we might do that. All right, I'm gonna pause for a second so we can get the box open. Okay, so here's the tank. Um, one of the accessory sprues comes with painted tools. I think that's an exhaust pipe there and a wheel wrench there. Something to work on the tracks there. We're gonna paint. We're gonna get those all painted up. I mean, they're painted, but I'm gonna do some extra detailing work on those. It came with um, extra tank treads. It's a plastic version, I think, and the pins there. Sorry. Here's a 2.4 gigahertz radio. It's gonna need some batteries. And forgive me here, I got. Let me pause this for a second. Alright, so here we have the tank. There's a barrel there, that's pretty cool. This thing is pretty awesome. Um, here are the sprues, the other model parts that come with it. These are all the handles for grabbing onto the turret there some of the tow hooks and lifting hooks. I guess they airlifted some of these in, or tried to, since it was considered a light tank at the time. We've got headlight guards, headlights, and some other small parts. There's the tool, one of the tool racks and the couple of covers and jerry cans another couple of cover there I'm not sure what these parts are here but I'm gonna figure it out and the 50 because every tank should have a 50 right have another bag of sprues here these are the wheel hubs I won't be installing these yet I'm gonna actually try to paint this thing there's uh, some more parts in there. There's the small uh, towing hooks, things like that. Yeah. 
here's the instructions. Comes with a small paper target, stickers, little antenna there that goes right there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. How could I forget this guy? Let's see if I can switch this around here. I apologize. So there's the tank commander, and you can see it's like a he's wearing coveralls, he's got a hood on. This is straight World War II, which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. But I would definitely like to get a Vietnam era tank commander figure in there. Get some full metal jacket going. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop here, but I'll hopefully do some more videos with the tank running and maybe after painting because I want to paint those treads. That drive wheel there too needs to be painted up, but this whole thing will be hopefully redecoed. Thanks for watching, guys.